In this video, we're going to cover how to use Jest, our testing framework for creating tests for our API. As part of the initial setup, we've already got the Jest config inside package.json. And what we've said is we're going to put all our tests in the root directory under underscore underscore tests underscore underscore directory, which we don't yet have. So I'm going to go ahead and create that. And the convention is simply to follow the same directory structure as we have in source. So under source, we have a roots directory. So under the tests directory, I'm going to have a roots directory. Likewise, under the roots directory, I have a healthcheck.ts file. So in my tests directory, I'm going to have a healthcheck.test.ts file. This convention makes it easier to see which files are tests and which files are implementation. Inside our test file, we import the server which is our COA server instance and also request from SuperTest. Now request is really cool in that it will take our server function and then handle starting it for us during a test and sending in any requests, which we can then make assertions against. In this case, our test is pretty straightforward. We just want to ensure that we get back a response with the body of Pong. That should be a 200 status code and the response type of application JSON. As we can see, we get back a nice green test suite at this point, and that's cool, but there is one extra thing that I want to show you about Jest, and this is something that I use every day pretty much, and that's to start Jest in watch mode. In other words, Jest will sit there and work in the background, and whenever you change any file in the paths that it's monitoring, it will rerun the test suite for you. And you can get pretty specific with this, tell it only to run certain files that match certain patterns and so on. But honestly, I think this feature alone makes Jest one of the best testing libraries I've ever used. So to quickly demonstrate this, I'm going to go back into the health check test file and change up one of the assertions to say that we now expect a 201 status code, but we know that we're getting a 200 status code. So this test should now fail. So you can see that it is failing, which is good, but I'm going to go back in and quickly change it back. Now, more interestingly in here, we've got this red underline on import request from SuperTest. This is a TypeScript thing. I don't know the specific solution to this, but I'm going to show you the solution I use. So as best I understand it, we cannot do an import request from SuperTest because of the way this third party code is set up. So we can validate what we get back by console login. And assuming that the change that we make gives us the identical result, we should be good here. So I'm going to swap to using a require statement instead. Using console log in this way isn't that scientific. There's likely better ways of doing this, but from a very high level, what this is going to show us is straight away, if these two functions look similar, then we're probably on the right lines. After making this change, our test suite remains in a passing state, so we should be good here. If you're new to Jest, there are other videos on the site that have covered Jest in a bit more depth than this before. So I would encourage you to take a look around. And if you're new to testing in particular, why not take this as an opportunity to try and get the branch coverage of the source config TS file up to 100%.